Hey guys, I'm here, back at the shop, ready to do some more work on this Yama cart here. So I did some long thinking and decided that this gas pipe is probably not the best idea to use to extend these. Because they kind of flex and I've noticed working with the stuff it bends real easily. So I went and found this one inch square tubing and I'm going to use that instead should be a little bit more stronger so what I'm gonna do just I'm gonna split this back apart recut some pieces reclean it up and actually weld it together today I think maybe move the seat location over just a tiny bit get my new shifter assembly welded in there so yeah let's get started So the stuff I got isn't very straight, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut the bends out of it. Basically gonna cut it right here. And cut it one more time, like right here. And maybe one more time around down here or so. Maybe once, like here. Just to get all that bends out and stuff. So I'm gonna show you why I decided to take the gas pipe off. So here's our handy dandy plumber's pipe rack here. And this is pretty much the stuff I was using. This is kind of why I didn't want to use it. Yeah. Super floppy, and I feel like after about four hard runs on this thing, those things are probably gonna banana, so. Okay, I got the new pieces cut kind of trying to get it all to slide together and it's going to be a little bit of a pain I think. <laughs> I'm going to use my resources. It's well Alright, I got the pieces all welded in completely now. I mean, they're not the prettiest looking welds. I had a giant hole that I had to fill pretty much, but it's definitely strong. I mean, it'll 
it'll hold up for sure. They're just not the prettiest. All right, I'm gonna flip this thing back over and think about what I'm gonna do next. I'd say she's pretty solid. See if I can't save these tires and get them beaded back up and put some air in them. Test for leaks. Find yourself an old spray bottle, Windex bottle, anything. Soapy water. Best leak detector you'll ever get. Sure does leak quite a bit. Look at that. The valve stem is even leaking. Because you know why. None of this is clean so much dirt and gunk in there it's just leaking so I'll probably have to take these off and remount them new everything So this tire is a little bit more of a pain than the other two because these guys, this backside was set, the bead was on there still. So that wasn't moving and that was already sealed. This one's leaking like a sieve, but this one over here is good. Not even a leak on this one. But yeah, so it was sealed up in the back and all I had to do was pull it forward and then it sealed up front and boom. This one, on the other hand, the front side's bead broken and the back side. So somehow I gotta figure out how to squeeze it so the walls will touch the rim at the same time, allowing air to pressurize it. So that's what the retro strap is for. is just bad. Managed to fix the leak on the right front. All I had to do was air it out, debeat it, get it wet, and that's fine. All right, I'm gonna take this tire off. So I just gotta pull this cotter pin and this castle nut. Nope, maybe not. Maybe I gotta pull just these three guys out. Yep, just gotta pull those three nuts out. Boom, and then I'll have this tire off. Probably break all of them off. Good thing it's just a nut and bolt.
All right, I'm gonna dismount this tire pretty much. Got a new one of them. Pop it in with this awesome tool here. Show you how it works here in a second. Alright, got the tire off. Found all kinds of gunk inside there, so that's probably inside of all those other ones, but oh well, yellow. Just gotta pull up the new valve stem. In that little hole, but first I kinda I messed this thing up. Taking the tire off, so I'm just gonna bend all that back, but none of the where it seats is bent, so it should be good. So new about seven and old it's just out of your budget. But did you check it all eBay? nice and on so eBay, you don't save on one thing, you save on the special so things. The everyday nice things and that. You need to take this handy dandy tool. You unscrew this thing, tap, poke it up through there. So take the tool that has little threads in it. Spin that. Searching for savings on prescriptions is so complex, it's like you need a doctor's degree. Fortunately, CVS Pharmacy employs thousands who have one. Our pharmacy. Plus, we built a proprietary search tool to help them find take it. savings on prescriptions. You don't need to know rim. that complicated stuff. You just Pulls need through. to know someone who does. Your friendly doctor. Not all patients eligible for savings. Ask pharmacist for details. So you Got think a new valve stem in there. Recalculating. That is what you call dry rot. There's my plug in there. I'm gonna check these cracked tires. Yeah, these ones are pretty good. Doesn't look like any other tires do that, so. Man, that kind of sucks. Time for some slime in there. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video, I think. Got three out of these four tires good. One of them's gonna be flat when I get back here tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, I got the frames all in. I need to do a new cross piece right here. I'm gonna come down right here, cut all this out, make that nice and cool. I'm probably gonna move this seat over to the right just a little bit. The emergency brake out and slide it over a little bit, build my new shifter, probably might just put it right here on this guy if I'm gonna move over but then yeah a lot more stuff I got to do here I got to fix this gas pedal I mean it's kind of jank this brake pedal too it's all gonna have to like shift over I got to make room for a clutch in here but that that's gonna be it for today's video catch me on the next one